previous lessons, we learned that using the Lewis dot structure, we can show that atoms share their outermost electron to obtain a stable outermost shell. And the golden rule is the octet rule. An octet basically referring to the number 8. This is the magic number where atoms need to have the exact number of 8 valence electron to be stable. There are two exceptions, which including helium and hydrogen. These two were only required to have two valence electron. Well, of course, in the process of sharing, they form different types of bonds. One is single bond, where they share between two electrons. Double is when they share two pairs. Think of the word double, that's two. So it's two pairs of electrons. And that will make up four electron total. And then we have a triple bond where they share three pairs of electrons. That gives us a total of six electron total. And when we have electrons that are not shared with another atom, we call these lone pairs of electrons. Now in this case, we are going to look at the Lewis dot structure. But before that, we had to realize that the lone pair is not always drawn out. For example, we have the same structure, but notice how the lone pair are here, but they are not right here. So you have to realize that looking at this structure, you have to imagine the lone pair is there. And using the magic number 8, or 2 for hydrogen. Okay, so let's look at this compound. In this case, we have the polyatomic ions carbonate. And carbonate, let's describe this compound. The compound has how many atoms? Of course, one, two, three, four. So it has four atoms. The name of atom number three is, in this case, this is atom number three that we are looking at, and that would be oxygen. And this atom has how many single bond? By looking at this particular atom, it has one single bond right there. Does it have any double bond? No, it doesn't have any double bond, so zero. Does it have any triple bond? No, zero. So we are looking at this specific atoms, okay? How many lone pair does it have? In this case, one, two, three. So it's three lone pair. Now the compound has a charge of negative two right there. Well, negative tell you that this particular compound has gain. Well, specifically, this ions gain two electron. So it has gain two electron, and that's why it has a charge of negative. Now let's compare this to a situation where we don't draw out the lone pair. So the compound, of course, has four atoms as well, and the name of atom number two is, in this case, is oxygen right there. So it's oxygen, okay? And the atom has, in this case, it has how many single bond? Well, for sure, if we have a single bond, we would have one line only, right? So it has zero single bond. It has how many double bond? Here you go, that's one double bond right there. It doesn't have any triple bond because triple bond are the three line one. So it has zero triple bond. What about the lone pair? We know that the magic number is eight, right? But a double bond is consists of how many pair of electron? That is two pairs of electrons. So double bond is two pair of electron. So if we have eight minus four, what's that gonna give us? Four left, right? So this four left tell us there must be two lone pair because we need to have that magic number eight. So that tell us we have two lone pair of electron. So keep that in mind, okay? Let's continue this problem, and we talk more about this later. Now, a compound has a negative charge. Again, it has gain two electron. So let's assume that we're looking at another oxygen over here. How many lone pair would this one have? Well, it has two electron for that single bond right there already. How many more does it need to have? Remember, that magic number ain't right there. So we need six more. One, two, one, two, one, two. That gives us a total of eight. So that's why we have three lone pairs somewhere around there, okay? What about carbon? Let's look at carbon number three. So carbon has what? Has 
this structure right here, right? That tells you there are two electrons there already, two electrons there already, and the double bond, remember, is four electrons? Four plus two plus two will give you a total of eight. So right away, we know it doesn't have any lone pair. So keep that in mind. Don't get tricked by that. Remember the magic number. It has to have eight valent electrons, except for hydrogen. When we have hydrogen or helium, we only need two, okay? And then let's look at this one, where we have a positive charge. So a compound has how many atoms? One, two, three, four. Four atoms again. And the name of the atom, number one, is, in this case, is oxygen again, because it's the letter O using the periodic table. We know it's oxygen. And this atom has how many single bond? One, two, three. So three single bond. And how many double bond? It doesn't have any double bond. So zero. How about triple bond? Nope. Remember, double bond look like this. Triple bond look like this, so zero. And how many lone pair does it have? Oh look, the lone pair is drawn out, so we have one lone pair. And this case has a charge of plus one. That tells you that this particular compound has lost how many electron? Of course, it's one electron. And that's how you apply the concept of bonding, especially looking at the octet rules, with the exception of hydrogen and helium and compare them in terms of the type of bonds to determine how many lone pairs are describing that particular atoms in terms of Lewis dot structure.